all right people what's up everyone and welcome to another first reviews reaction video with your boy gore and i am here to take a look at the first reviews for miss marvel which of course just got its first reviews today uh day before it airs which is uh not too crazy i mean obi-wan shit we didn't even get reviews until the, the first two episodes were already out and they got that got great reviews so from critics so yeah, uh, so we're going to go and take a look at these reviews. I'm expecting them to be fine. I'm sure they'll be good. Yeah. Uh, all the early, early reviews, the ones that didn't have scores, they were pretty much just social media, like Twitter blurbs. Uh, pretty much all of them said the exact same thing. It's charming. Uh, the main actress is good, and, and that's about it. There was a couple of negative things here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty solid. So we got both Obi-Wan and Miss Marvel tonight, so that, that'll be interesting. Uh, I'll probably watch Miss Marvel tomorrow. I'll probably watch Obi Wan tonight. I don't know if I'm going to stay up to watch both episodes. You know what I mean? A little crazy. Anyway, let's get to it. You ready? You ready? Yeah, you are. God damn, are? Of course you are. You're always ready. That's what I like about you. You. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Anyway, let's go. Uh, I'm going to say. I guess I have to predict one. Uh, I'm going to say 80%. That's my guess. All right, let's go around to this. Oh, there it is. Oh, first reviews. Ah, it's wonderful. Spoilers. Jesus. I guess I'll just click on it. Screw it. Let's just go. Uh, oh, okay. All right. I guess I'll click on this now. Whoa. Whoa. That's way higher than I thought. 94%. Wow. Okay. Whoa. That's a lot of reviews, too. A 7.8. Wow. That's really good. Okay. Miss Marvel is a genuinely fresh addition to the MCU, both stylistically and sub sub substantively i can't read with aman valani i'm sure i mispronounced her name uh ably powering proceedings with her supersized charisma okay cool hey she's good she's good cool uh all right uh oh no it's gonna be one of those where yeah 94 reviews can't get any of them to load up huh is it just me or uh, i must i must not be the only one there that rotten tomatoes just does not work for her. Right? Two reviews out of the freaking... How many? 90... 92 reviews. Sorry. 94 was the score. 92 was the amount of reviews. Uh, we got three here, at least. Uh, one of the most out and out... One of the most out and out fun entries in the MCU in some time. Uh, Aman Valani is a breath of fresh air as Kamala Khan. Uh, Marvel's most charming superhero yet. Most charming, yeah. Uh... We'll see. It's hard not to love Kamala Khan in these early episodes of this hyper cute, stylized teen coming of age comedy wrapped up in an MCU package. Packaging, excuse me. Uh, and let's see, let's give it a nerd. Oh, there we go. We got the third one. <laughs> no. Let's see. Top critics, maybe? No. Audience? Uh, no. Okay, cool. So I can't see any of the other reviews. Just believe us. There's 89 more reviews somewhere. There's, some, there's somewhere. Let's see. Let's refresh. Uh,. Yeah, just just believe uh, Ron Tomatoes. They're there. Maybe it's just Firefox. I don't know. May, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I'm gonna use uh, Google Chrome. Wait, can you see the? No, you can't. Okay. I'll, I'll, if it does work, then hold on. I'm just gonna check real quick. Nope. It's it's fucked on both. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Ron Tomatoes. Woo, Ron Tomatoes. Everybody fucking loves you. Yay! Eat my ass. All right, let's go to Metacritic. All right, we'll just do Metacritic for this. Good job. Whoa, 76. Damn, damn, damn. That's 13 reviews. That's fucking 10 more than we had before, so that's fine. Ooh, look at that one. Let's read that negative review. Roger Ebert. Oh, came back from the grave to be racist, huh? No, I'm just kidding. It's somebody else. Uh, using a marginalized culture as a crutch to get a new demographic of viewers. Whoa. There's nothing creative about making a Mindy Kaling version of a Marvel show. Oh, no. Ugh. Especially if it's chock full of stale parent versus teen dynamics lifted from sitcoms decades older than the characters. You, wow. That's a, that's a scathing review. I just want to... Hold on. I just want to see some. Wow. What is, this, what is going on here? Whoa. Okay. Oh, it's painful to read. Oh, yeah. I, I just want to see. Oh, your regrets are basically what makes Miss Marvel. It's not a character that executives just pull out of their butts. That's why this has been the most honest review written about this series, and I thank you for it. Uh, I knew it. I freaking knew when that score came out. It was, there was going to be some reviews. What is this? 
What a weird review. It's like a little skit they wrote. Look, they wrote like a, an SNL skit. Scene, interior, day. Imagine pitch meeting at Marvel HQ. We need fresh ideas, folks. Blah, 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 blah. Let's go down. Uh, more forcefully, we should at least sprinkle in a fair amount of dialogue in Hindi and... All right, I'm not even going to... Just make sure... All right, I'm not reading this. Fuck this. All right, it's a dumb joke. Okay. Let me turn this on, by the way. My eyes are already hurting. Or turn it off. Oh, doesn't that just feel much better? God damn. Put a fucking... Well, actually, Metacritic might have a dark mode on... I don't see it here, but it might it might be. I don't know. All right, so let's uh, let's read this. Uh, Bisha K. Ali and the other writers have crafted a compelling, smart, funny, and poignant coming of age story, and found a terrific young star to embody it in Aman Valani. But then a lot of the super material feels less inspired than the more personal material. Okay. This is an instantly captivating, high-energy, relatively light and humorous series with first-rate production values and one of the more likable character casts in the, any series of any genre so far this year. Amon Milani making her screen debut is delightful in the role. Lead role. Helped along by a very capable supporting cast of veterans and newcomers. That specific challenge, how to encapsulate a Muslim community that itself... In, 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 Sorry, I just died. Inca uh, incompass incompa incompasses so fuck you. So much diversity of expression wasn't an easy task, but it's where where the show I can't read. I can't fucking read. Uh, but it's where the show must most excels. Miss <laughs> Marvel has an intriguing mystery at its center, bolstered by an appealing protagonist. Really, an interesting mystery. Mystery. Right? We'll see. Ms. Marvel brings a pop of vibrant teen energy to a fresh and zippy new Disney Plus series perfect for Marvel nerds. Marvel nerds and new viewers alike. Marvel nerds. I don't think you need to be a nerd anymore to watch this shit. Frothy and fun and really get into it, I guess. Uh, frothy and fun because it's all made kind of... No offense. It, it's, it's made to appeal to everyone let's say i was gonna say something way more negative but frothy and fun miss marvel's opening act is relatively lightweight but for both adults and its teen target audience it's compelling and unique addition to the mcu what a unique review the series makes her specific corner of the world feel flushed out before too long and has played with infectious charm by Villani in her first tv role we have to point out it's her first role Kamala is a believably starry-eyed teenager who's bursting creativity and imagination spill over onto the screen. Often literally. <laughs> I should read every review like this. Luminous, 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 whatever, fucking newcomer, <laughs> Malani transcends his brand sy synergy. She makes Khan a warm, funny, awkward, brilliantly relatable heroine. <laughs> heroin it's heartening to see it's heartening to see marvel put its might behind this much needed representation because god fucking damn it we needed it even if it's a cynical move to keep expanding the mcu fandom at least this charming series welcomes everyone in all of them welcome everyone in. it's not like it's a a boys club or a girls club or any club fucking just watch it shut up in letting kamala's story shine on its own terms miss marvel offers us the very thing she herself never found in all her fangirling the uplifting vision of a brown girl from jersey city who saves the world okay i don't know the combination of this young star production team and creative elements is exactly what the premiere episode declares cosmic Oh, is that the name of the first episode? I bet it is. Uh, between Villani's compelling performance and the visual flair of Adil and Bel... I'm not going to fucking... Miss Marvel is frankly just... I'm too white for this. Uh, it's frankly just a lot of fun, if only because it's been a harsh and gloom few years. Glum? Glum few years? Whatever. It's, it's a joy to watch a young hero take such pleasure in her newfound abilities. I hope she doesn't do anything really messed up. I'm trying to think, like... I guess my... I, I'm trying to think of, did anybody do anything really messed up recently in Marvel that if you think about I mean I guess Scarlet Witch but I'm talking about like a, a new character I guess Kate Bishop kind of endangered people's lives a couple times but besides that like I'm trying to think of like new characters they introduced that screwed things up 
Because I can go back. If I'm not talking about new characters, I could also go back to Doctor Strange with the whole fucking Spider-Man thing. Oh, Sylvie, I guess. <laughs> so, so I don't want to spoil that, but fucking good lord. Anyway. Uh, who else? No, there has to be other ones. Yeah, whatever. At the end of the day, she's still Kamala. More casual lovers of the MCU will undoubtedly love the miniseries for Amon Vellani's performance and the ambience that the production team clearly worked very hard to create. Miss Marvel may even push more people to dive into the comics that got us here in the first place. All right. Cool. All right. Oh, Richard. I didn't even notice that was Richard Roper. Okay. All right. Well, there you go. That's the first reviews for Miss Marvel. Wait, hold on. I'm, I'm missing... Oh, there's an overview now. Ah, oh, whatever. We read enough. Um, so the main actress is good, charming. Uh, it has, like, a little bit of flair and, and pizzazz and stuff. And it has a lot of representation, which is cool. Uh, I just hope it's not just representation for the sake of representation and there's actually a meaning to it which i feel like not not disney itself but there's a lot of stuff out there it's just like uh yeah we have gay people on our show I'm like okay are they good characters no they're just in the background kissing I'm like all right cool <laughs> like uh, fucking uh, look at fucking all, all the dis actually no it is disney because look at fucking like remember beauty and the beast like we have our first openly gay character and it's fucking um uh, uh fucking b butthead what's the name lefou and he's fucking his ass is, is kind of flamboyant a little bit, and not not about the same as the original LeFou. So, um, and then at the end he danced with a dude for five seconds. That was it. Like, oh, the Star Wars Episode Nine's gonna have its first openly gay like kiss scene, uh, and, and then it's like uh, the chicken lady and fucking some other woman kissing for a quick second. And then the camera like moves away real quick. So like, can't have that. We have to make it easy so we can cut that stuff out for our Chinese audiences. Can't have the black guy on the poster. Nope, get that off. We will we will shun people for for criticizing our our character in in Obi Wan Kenobi and call them racist. But we will also be racist and take the black guy off of the Force Awakens poster when we market it to China. Disney. Yeah, I just I feel like making the you know the Disney Channel logo when they when the the character comes out and like draws it. I want to do that, but except it spells out racist. 